have new struggles with the problem, what can I do next, what to achieve next, probably everybody has. So let's talk about that, roll the intro. Here are 5 tips to set your goals in photography. Set a maximum of 3 goals at the same time. So you don't have the tendency to overdo it. You can focus on the 3 projects. If one project is done, you can add another one. So always have 3 projects at the same time, so you don't lose the overview. So for example, set one big goal for the year, one medium goal for the next month, and a small goal for the next week. This year I wanna go to the Alps to shoot Mont Blanc. This is my big goal for this year. Then for the next month, maybe another editorial shooting, a little bit bigger, not that big, something new I try out at the moment, and a small goal, maybe a water drop. You know, you go to the park, it rained the day before, and you look at a tree, at some leaves, there's a water drop. This is a nice little goal for this week. The next step is, where do I want to go? Plan your trips in advance. Set little goals, maybe in Google Maps, little markers from cities which you find interesting, areas you find interesting. Plan a little bit in advance, like hey, I want to do a trip on a Saturday, then plan on your first day and look on Google Maps, which could, what could be nice. And as this channel is a lot about being on a budget, planning in advance can save you a lot of money on train tickets, on flight tickets, on bus tickets and on accommodation. Hotels and Airbnbs are most of the time way cheaper booked half a year before going there. Tip 3 is something special handling the gas. Gas is here, acquisition syndrome. We all have been there on a certain point. If you have a hobby or a job with a lot of gear involved in products, then you definitely, on a certain point, struggle with gas. My tips for handling gas are pretty simple. The first one is do I need it for the next job? project or trip I do. Second question is, do I really need it? Did it, I miss it the last time I did something like that? And do I need it afterwards again? Like, is it sustainable? Can I get the gear and use it not on one job, but maybe on the next five jobs? For example, if you want to start with wildlife photography, and you don't have a tally, then get a tally. Maybe a Canon RF 100-400mm for the Canon ES R8, for example. But I more into street photography, I more into portraits, then maybe the RF 50mm 1.8 or the 35mm 1.8 would be the way to go. Make a plan what your next projects are and what gear you need for it. And to be honest, yes, we all want to have as much gear and products as possible, but especially in the beginning, it definitely helps to narrow it down to the essentials. A very important point is to stay realistic with your goals. Yes, Shooting photo one in Dubai with your medium format camera is a goal we probably all want to achieve, but maybe at the moment and all camera rays, 
and a city nearby with a digital camera with an APS-C sensor is also going to go as the next step. Yes, I am a big fan of dreaming big, but maybe sometimes we have to be more down to earth and this leads me to the next point. The most difficult part, probably, of them all, is trusting the process. You probably want to do a big project, and the next big project, and an even bigger project. But most of the time, to be honest, it doesn't work like that. At least, as you want to build a sustainable success for your photography career. There will be a lot of ups and downs. There will be moments where you have to step back a little bit to shoot. Maybe some free commercial stuff again. Maybe some not that good paid jobs. But each step is one step forward. Because in the end, it will be an interesting journey for you to go on this photography, videographic job thing you do and trust me you will get somewhere at least with time and patience and as i said one step in front of the other you will achieve success as photographer in a certain way if you trust the process of just going forward and forward not stop working on this dream to become a photographer or videographer. Oh, and to the end, as I said, with little steps to building a sustainable career, I myself am um, on this journey. I still learn a lot. I do this for like two years now. I think two years ago I decided to go this way. I noticed that I have a certain interest in becoming a photographer. And as you can see, I'm still at the start. I'm still trying to trust the process, trying to achieve goals step to step. And I hope I could help you today with some tips to set goals for your photography for the next time. And so, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. Until the next video, goodbye. One last thing. And uh, put this in the outro of the video and um, use free notes. Write everything down. Every idea you have, it helps a lot. Bye. Bye.